Hello my soccer gamers and welcome to part 10 for my Europa League jersey review. We are looking at group J. Actually quite an interesting one. I don't want to say the most competitive one, but they there surely are two big teams in there, similar to the Arsenal Frankfurt group, and then the other two teams were not that bad either so far. And three are still in the running to be promoted. I'm wearing my Roma jersey. We have Roma back there, so it's all Roma Roma. As you know, Roma is my I would say it's my second most favorite Italian team, with maybe Parma and Napoli scratching on it. But Roma is one of those teams that I really, really like. So um, very happy about that. And we will start out with the Roma, La Roma, uh, the home jersey we saw in the Serie A uh, jersey review. I think well, all of the jerseys we saw more or less there. Um, I have to say I was a little bit underwhelmed. For me, Roma cannot do much wrong. With this red and this uh, orangey color, you are bound to get a good looking shirt and then with the white pants and so on. Uh, you know, there's really not, not much you can do wrong. What I am a little bit bothered by is this new Nike template where the color is just stopping right here. If this would go around, I think I would like this a whole lot better. Um, not so sure about the lightning bolts on there, but you know, if you go for it, go for it. It actually doesn't look uh, horrible in any way. Um, sponsor invite also, it makes all sense. It's a decent jersey. It's not my favorite Roma jersey. I think the uh, last, year's, last year's home jersey and even before there were better ones. This one is still my one of my favorites. My absolute favorite will be the one from 99-2000, which I cannot find. I was in the Olympico watching them with that one. I just loved it with the big wolf's head here. That was a jersey that I probably should have gotten back then. Anyway, going back to this one. Uh, as I said, it's a decent jersey. It's really uh, good looking. I mean, and the Roma jerseys rarely ever look bad. Eight stars. My favorite this season definitely is the away jersey. Um, we are back with a very strong white. And then the lightning bolt going across the chest. Wow. I know it should not work, but it just works spectacularly. I have to say, when I see this jersey, especially when it's worn with red pants, it's not so nice with white pants, although it's, it's a very uh, unique look. Um, I have to say, this is just striking uh, to the nth degree. Absolutely love this one. This is one. This is very near the top of my list of jerseys this season that I want to have. I know I was uh, listing for the yellow Roma jersey last year, mainly because of the map and because a different color. This Roma jersey is kind of an off-white. I love it because it has the wolf's head on there, but this one is better. I absolutely, absolutely love this one. I know I've read in some pages that it should not work, but it does. It simply does, even with the Qatar Airways, which I would love was not on there, but um, see how smart it is actually done that the flash gets a little bit lighter where the sponsor is put and so that we don't need to block it out. It's just genius, absolute genius. This is, I want to say this is the best Nike jer uh, jersey uh, in the club season. You know where I'm going with this one. 10 stars, we don't even need to discuss this. Um, I also really like the third jersey, although it's not quite as good. Uh, I love the color. I mean, this is... I want to say this is number two or three on the list of jerseys I would like to have from this season. Um, what... The color is fine. I even like the accents in uh, yellow and red. I'm not so sold on the collar. Uh, the collar, I think, is what makes this one look weird. Uh, look at the sleeve cuffs. We have the um, uh, yellow and with a red band here. And then we have just yellow and the red here. I think I would like to see this mirrored here. Make a red on this front panel. And then you can maybe make the collar in red. But this two-tone is the one thing that ticks me off a little bit and makes it not as perfect. Um, I actually love the, all the crests in there and in the version that you can buy this war in Serie A, you see that there's the Wolves uh, crest and there's the ASR crest in there and they're going in bands. However, in the Europa League, and now we're getting really kid nerdy here, um, UEFA only allows that at most two uh, symbols representing the club or the country can be displayed. So on this one we have three. There are now a few ways that you can go. Um, 
you can replace the crest with one of the other two or you have to replace the pattern and that's what they did. They took out the ASR part and it's all wolf set. So um, kind of a smart way and uh, you know this would be another one that you really want to have uh, because it's very special. I don't know which one looks better. I actually like that they put the two in there, but I think it's a really uh, cool jersey overall. As I said, the color is a little bit off-putting. I still think it's enough for nine stars. Let's go to the second biggest team in this group, and this is actually the leaders in the Bundesliga, so maybe. Uh, and they won the head-to-head -head against Roma in unbelievable fashion with two uh, last-minute goals in each game. Otherwise, Roma will, would have won the head-to-head. -head. It's just one of those things that I still a little bit salty about, to be honest. Mönchengladbach. Or I just say Gladbach for short, but it's Borussia Mon VfL Borussia Mönchengladbach. Verein für Leibes übergeht Borussia Mönchengladbach. It's one of those really long. Just call it Gladbach and you're all off. You don't need to uh, with the Mönchengladbach. Uh, like every Gladbach shirt, as of late. This one has one big flaw and that's the sponsor. Uh, other than that, this is one of the nicest Puma creations. Do you, you know this pattern on the bottom in the with the um, black and the green um, swirls, which of course should be from the flares uh, in green uh, smoking pots that the fans do. That I think is a really nice touch and makes it a really interesting jersey to look at. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that one. If the sponsor was actually nice and didn't have this yellow on there, but was like, you know, just do black on uh, white, I think I would give this jersey a much, much higher grade. We think, I'm thinking nine here, but the sponsor ruins it, absolutely ruins it. And I only give this seven stars. Um, but this jersey is actually not worn in the Europa League at home. There they wear the dedicated third jersey, which, uh, Place homage to the old stadium, the Böckelberg Stadium, uh, which is put here in photographs and then kind of uh, mangled up all over, which I think is a little bit of a missed opportunity because it's not very obvious at first, uh, unless you know what this should re re represent. Um, the green is actually a great look. Uh, I, even the patterning looks nice, but if you were, were any real there actually could be a, a nice picture of the old stadium on there. Definitely opportunity missed there. And for that reason, I have to drop it down again. The, the sponsor is uh, not that great uh, on there. It doesn't bug me as much as on the other jersey. Uh, but it's still, I think this is more opportunity missed and then, then this is absolutely great. I still will give it the seven stars, but I think this jersey could have looked better. I think if Möchen Gladbach, at least for me, Möchen Gladbach um, could find a sponsor that is not as obtrusive. And in this case, if you showcase the entire stadium, in a different way without being so jumbled up and having this kind of uh, camouflage look almost on there you got you would have gotten a much much better jersey and much better great the away jersey i have to say has grown on me there is a certain 70s look to it that i absolutely love it's uh i only gave it four stars in my uh review but i have to say this one it, I know it looks like a goalkeeper jersey uh, due to the colors, but there's something 70s about it that I I love, especially when I see it. Um, I think this is time for a regrade here. I'm going a little bit high. I mean, it's again, the yellow drops it down, uh, but I want to give it at least five stars. I mean, it's not exciting, but there is something about it that I absolutely like about it. If the sponsor was better, we're talking maybe six, seven-ish. Um, I'm going to go with five. The sponsor really ruins the Gladbach jerseys. Away from Germany, let's go to uh, Turkey, to Bajakshi here, Istanbul, uh, who are equipped by Macron and they have orange home jerseys. And what I find interesting that here in the promo pics, uh, the jerseys are worn like this, all one color, when in the Europa League they usually wore the orange uh, ones with the uh, navy pants and uh, the navy jersey that will look in a bit with the uh, or with the orange one, which I think is a much more interesting look. Macron, uh, it's 
it reminds me a lot about the uh, Holland 98 jersey. You know, it's orange and then we have uh, black and white trims. That is, I think, nice. Although I think it's not black, this is um, navy, but it looks like it. It's very close to black. Uh, I'm not sure about the crest, to be honest, but I think overall, overall it's a nice look. The collar could look a little bit cooler, but I know this is the one, I think, the, similar to the Lazio collar here. Uh, I think it's nice. It, it's it's a Macron collar. Uh, that one's for sure. Uh, where shall, shall we go with those? I want to go with six stars uh, for that one. I like the away jersey better. Uh, that's a surprise, you know, I like navy. It's the same uh, thing, but I think that the accents are used much better here. You have the triangle inset, you have the orange is a little bit more popping. Uh, I'm willing to give this eight stars. This one looks really, really cool. Uh, the third jersey is not so much my thing, you know, this patterned orange, uh, gray with orange and then even the crest kind of... <laughs> looks a little bit pajama-like and for that reason only, yeah four stars uh, you know i'm going a little bit there is not much to these jerseys uh except for style i really like the navy one i'm not so sold on the other two and that leaves us with the last team from austria wolfsberger ac athletic club or vac just uh in uh, austria um let's start with the league home jersey which is that classic Austrian atrocity. Uh, in Austria we can put sponsors in literally everywhere. You saw it already with the last jerseys. The only thing that's a given is you have the crest on the left, you have the Bundesliga logo on the right, you have probably the supplier in the center and then you can go wacko. There's usually a main sponsor, then there are sponsors here, there are sponsors on the sleeves, there are sponsors on the sides and that's all what you get here. Uh, and on the back, uh, don't even get me started. Um, in this case, the RZ Pellets sponsor is even in the club logo because they bought the right to be in the club's name. There are only two teams in Austria that have never had a sponsor in the club's name, and that is Rapid and that is Lusk. Uh, we're selling off our sleeves and everything else, but at least the uh, team name is sacred, and I'm quite happy about that to be in that distinctive look. But let's go back to the VAC here. Um, I actually do like the crest, believe it or not, with the wolf in there. There's something nice. I just wish the sponsors out there, which you will see in the Europa League, they did that. Um, I actually, if you take away most of the sponsors, this diagonal pinstriping looks really, really nice. Especially even the three colors. You have the black, and then you have the red and the green from the sponsor, which also... Uh, yeah, the sponsor makes it in there, but it doesn't look bad at all uh, the color you know Jaco did a decent job it's just that the sponsors ruined this jersey absolutely ruin it if there was just a center sponsor i think we would all be all right and for that reason i'm only gonna give this five stars without that i think we could talk eight probably yeah i like it that much maybe even not but uh, it's just too many sponsors in the europa league though and it's a little bit of a disappointment they just used the standard yako uh template that we've seen already with due launch and we saw a lot at the asian cup black stripe that bubbles here uh and then a black stripe on the on on the bottom and other than that, it's just white uh note the crest does not have uh, actually in the picture it has the rz in the europa league it does not have the RZ in there, it's just a plain logo. Uh, it really is a very plain, not a bad shirt. Um, where will I go with my rating here? Um, I think it's opportunity missed, that's why I'm also gonna give this five star. I actually do like the regular one slightly better. The away jersey in the league um, and the Europa League is the same template. It is like an Ice Roma jersey where um, if you understand German, the Wolfsburg Twitter account is one of the best ones out there. Um, they released this jersey and said, uh, you know, we're going with the Ice Roma look. This was before the draw, but they say, yeah, the Wolf, Wolf, uh, that's fine. And then um, they, uh, you know, the reaction was, yeah, you can do it. You never play Roma. And then after the draw, they play Roma and everyone can say, <laughs> they kind of made a really nice, tja comment uh 
Wolfsburg's colors are red and black, but as an away jersey, I have to say this works uh, in, in a way that, you know, it's Roma colors. You cannot go re really wrong. Uh, the sponsor on there is an eyesore. Uh, the crest is a little bit off, but there's something about the jersey. Like in the league, it's a lot more sponsors. I'm only going with the Europa League here, uh, but I put, of course, the league up that you can see how this jersey can be totally ruined. In the Europa League, I'm gonna give this six stars. Well, that was a longish video, but there was a lot to talk about. It's a very interesting group, I have to say. Wolfsburg started great 4 0 away to MF Gladbach, and then you know, they already eliminated. Hi, there it goes. Let me know how you like the jerseys in this video. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Tell me which jerseys you like, where you disagree with me. Drop a comment below and subscribe to my channel if you want to see the final part or all the other parts. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.